Hey lovies, today we're going to make a spooky tree using upcycled branches from my backyard. If you're interested in making something like this for yourself, then keep on watching. Okay, so I just had this wild idea for my dining room wall. And this year, oh my God, you guys, wait till you see the Halloween um, home tour this year. It's a little bit different than last year, but I went like tree crazy. I freaking love black trees. Like I've had them last year, but for some reason, since I got that Martha Stewart one, it kind of like ignited a fury. So. Um, I kind of want to see, uh, it's really, if I can bring you in closer, I have a bunch of these branches that's fallen off and I'm thinking that, you know, if you've seen my home or you just know of my home from other things, I have like a really nice, like, um, shiplap type of wall behind my dining room table and I kind of want to do like a spooky tree moment. What do you guys think? I, and they're dried up. I'm a little nervous about any like insects, but if I get small branches, I doubt that there's anything there, but I'm going to pick up some of this stuff here. Um, let's spray paint it black and just see how it goes. Like they're small pieces, they're big pieces. So let's, let's just like, <laughs> I'm going to take you along for it. If it works, it works and you'll see it. And if it doesn't, then I'll just report back. that I got. This is a big old tarp because I paint a lot and I spray paint a lot. So I have a bunch of these tarps, but you can get them super um, inexpensive on Amazon. You can get them at, you can even get like a cheap tablecloth at Dollar Tree, like just protect your area. And there's multiple, multiple ways of doing that. But um, I got like this size, haven't spray painted it black yet. I got some smaller ones. I love that like overall wisp. I left some of the pine there and you guys, I love pine. Like this has been long dead and my hands when I was taking some of it off, it still smells like, um, like pine. It's so strong and it's really like, it's just so everlasting. And I just love that about the pine. All right, so I'm using Color Master and flat black and we're just gonna go ahead and start spraying and I love how like when you start actually spray painting this it doesn't it still looks real you know it's not like a vinyl or it's not like a piece of plastic this actually gives you still some depth so I'm gonna I hope this works out <laughs> I'm really excited like I literally thought of this like at my work desk and I'm just like, oh my God, let me pop on here and just grab some branches and see because I need some kind of like display by, you know, behind my dining room table. And I think this is going to be perfect with the bats and stuff. Let's just see how it comes out. All right. So we have our sprayed branches and they're looking so good. I love this. Love, love, love. And it's so much cheaper than getting branches even if they don't work in the wall they're so good for decor like I'm not mad at it so and I've left the pines kind of like um still its natural color so you can see let's see you can see the black and then it kind of like it goes into that brownish color there love love so it just looks more a little bit more organic and possibly even more spookier pretty cool so I think the challenge now is to try to get these um, branches on the wall in a way that it looks semi-organic. I know it's not going to come off of a large trunk, let's just say, like the middle of the tree. But I think maybe we can figure out a way where it's... I don't know, we'll play with it. But I think attaching them on the wall is going to be 
it's going to be a challenge. I'm, I'm obviously going to use maybe some thumbtacks, maybe wrap it around some cloth and thumbtack it in. Not too sure, but let's just see, you know. Okay, so here's the dining room area. You guys have probably seen this before. Again, in my Halloween tour 2020, I'll link it below. Um, we kept this clock. This clock usually stays there and I'm trying to find a replacement, but I often take it down and put it back up and put big wreaths there. But um, so I'm thinking that I want to start the branches on this corner and kind of go out and then have the bats again cascading very similarly to what we did last year. So I think that's pretty simple, but it'll give this wall a real nice pop that it needs. And then over here, we have this Grandin Road um, a dupe that we did last year at Dollarween 2020. I'll leave that playlist um, at the end card and down below. But yeah, so let's get started. Again, I'm gonna try to affix it somewhere up there um, and see. Okay, the best way to really anchor down the base of your branch is to use like a jute twine like this. Since the thumbtacks aren't thick enough to go through the whole branch, it needs to kind of attach to something. So I figured the jute twine is a perfect like remedy for this. So um, I'm hoping that you guys have jute twine. Um, I'm a crafter, so I have it, but you know, still this is, once you put this on, you can see that it's really, the jute twine is around the thumbtack. Like this isn't going anywhere. I'm pushing down and it's not going anywhere. So the base, if you want to um, not have so much of them pop out, um, you know, attach twine to wherever the thicker parts are that you really need them stuck down so they're nice and stable um i suggest using a twine or a cord or a okay, piece of fabric so i finished putting the twine on all of the branches so you'll see right here this is a piece of twine that's held um by a thumbtack Here's another one. So this makes it really sturdy. Like these branches aren't going anywhere. I'm, you see, I'm tugging on them. You wanna make sure the branches really have nice points of connection. Um, so that way they're not wobbly or they're not hitting your guests or anything like that. But you wanna place your branches in a realistic way, right? So you want to put some that are flatter against the wall. You want to put some that stick out like this one is really close whereas this one is really flat against the wall and up there they're also coming out let me see if I can show you yeah if you can see the wall back there you can see some kind of uh like a dimension there I work a lot with dimension on anything that I do to make it really really realistic so putting stuff in the background popping them out in the foreground for example, when we start putting our um, bats, I'll definitely put one right at the tip here. So just, it gives a very dimensional look. And what I'm thinking to go along with that idea is that you probably wanna put the smaller bats here on the pieces that stick out more and the larger bats in the back. So that way it really looks super dimensional. So that's, where we are now, I'm going to start putting on the bats. You guys, as soon as I put the bats on, it just looks so good. It instantly became kind of spooky. So, um, and I wouldn't worry. So with the bats, and I'll leave the bats linked below. They're an Amazon find that's so, so, so good. Um, I spoke about them last year's Halloween, but they are, they're different sizes. They're nice and plastic and shiny. Um, they bend really nice. They're different shapes. So I can't, I, I love, love these bats and can't suggest them enough. But with these parts, branches that aren't exactly um, tying to other branches, like any of the errors that you see, you can easily hide with bats. So I believe this one right here has a um, thumbtack behind it and you would never even know. So let me continue doing um, all of the bats and then we'll come back here for some final thoughts.
guys starting to look really good. Um, I just want to stop for a second before I continue with the bats because again, just like last year, I wanted to kind of cascade through this wall. Um, but I just, if you are new to bats or placing anything that's in multiples like this on your wall, this might go without saying, but it's always a good tip to kind of step back every like two to three bats and look at your progress. Cause the last thing you want to do is spend an hour freaking placing bats everywhere. And then you look and you're like, okay, it either doesn't make sense or the, the pattern's not right. So what I think I'm going to do is that I'm probably going to put more here on the tree just to make it seem really full and kind of create motion, right? So I think right now it's it's almost too evenly spread out. So, and this is what I mean. So I wouldn't realize that. Like I was just, I kept putting bats and bats and I'm like, okay, wait, let me step back. And I've stepped back many times. Like you want to step back as many times as possible to make sure that you're on the right track. So when I look at this, even like through the viewfinder, I'm seeing that this is, it's just too sparse and I really want like that burst of motion. So I'm going to put more bats here and then what I want to do is um, take it up here and then come down here and then that would be probably the end. And a good way with bats is that you want to do all the bigger ones like right towards the beginning, a little bit stagger them off in the middle and then end with tiny ones. If you end with a big one, it just it doesn't flow, the dimension's not right, and it just looks weird. So again, some tips. Place your bats, step back. Another tip is to make sure that your motion, you're creating movement in the correct way and not having the same type of spacing. And then the third tip is to have some dimension, like I said, put some in the background, bigger, some closer, um, in the foreground, smaller, and be sure to start large and end small. And I think once you get those three things down packed, you're going to have an amazing bat wall. You guys, I'm in love with the finished product. It was so easy and cheap. So if you have any of these items laying around your house and you can grab some twigs from your backyard, definitely try doing this because you will absolutely be obsessed. Be sure to subscribe, guys, because I have a lot more DIYs. We have our Dollar Ween challenge this year, and I can't wait to share more. Until next time, bye.